Let's start by thinking about modern medicine. When we take some medication nowadays, we're taking a small molecule drug that we know will give us some benefit. It may, for example, alleviate our pain. It may attack our cancer. But it may also come with some downsides, some side effects. And they can be in cancer treatment in the form of general body pain or hair loss, and they're quite unpleasant. This is because the drug is actually attacking the wrong parts of the body, the cancer cells and also your healthy parts of the body too. But a new class of drugs have been designed to reduce this problem, and they're called antibody drug conjugates. And they're composed of the small molecule drug uh, as a warhead linked to a homing device called an antibody protein linked together. And antibodies are useful because they're used and they're very good at recognising markers around the body. From the top of my slide, you can see how the antibody recognises the marker on the diseased, cancerous cell, but ignores the healthy cell. So in this way, the antibody can be used to deliver our drug only to the uh, unhealthy cells and leave the healthy cells without giving side effects. And these drugs aren't just theory. They're not in the lab, they're in the NHS now, and they're saving and extending the lives of cancer patients across the country. Unfortunately, this comes at quite a big cost of several thousand pounds per patient per month. This is because the ways in which you can link a small molecule such as a drug to a complex protein such as an antibody can be quite challenging and quite expensive. And this is where my research comes in to solve this gap in the market, to make it easier and cheaper to link small molecules such as drugs to proteins and give a broader range of antibody drug conjugates at a cheaper cost in the future to the consumer. So where do I come in? So my strategy is to start off by putting a source of reactivity, a handle, into a protein. And this handle is an aldehyde, because aldehydes have very gentle chemistry with which we can link things on. So we can start off with a caged aldehyde in a protein, and it's caged so that it can withstand all the processes that modern drug companies would use to make sure that it's safe, clean and pure. My key step that I've innovated then is how to uncage the aldehyde. And of course, with every cage, you need a key. And that key is palladium metal. So with a very low quantity, easily removed of palladium, we can unlock, uncage this aldehyde and unleash the activity of the protein. And once the protein is then unleashed, we can then add on our small molecule. So this can be an antibody with a caged aldehyde and we attach on our small molecule drug via the unleashing with my palladium strategy. And this is a very straightforward, simple strategy and it's cheap. And it's so attractive that it's now part of a patent process. We hope to see this research being applied to the development of future antibody drug conjugates to develop a cheaper range and a broader range, potentially even personalised for medical needs in the future. And we hope to see that this, this research truly brings us one step closer towards the drugs of the future. Thank you.